All right, what is going on, my dudes? It is a very exciting day today. It is buff day for Atuma and Shuri. Now, I've been messing around with Atuma for a while now, and he is very, very good. A lot better than I anticipated him being, to be entirely honest. So, he, Atuma's buff came through for the first time with Shuri, and Shuri was received super duper well, and Atuma was like, okay, he's definitely better. Atuma got buffed a lot more since his first iteration, and honestly, I am incredibly impressed with this guy. So mine is rank four SIG 200, so I got a maxed out Atuma here, and he is doing some really incredible things. So. Let's start jumping into it today. We'll talk about what's buffed, what's going on, right? I'll show you the gameplay though. So let's jump in, all right? Just Winter Soldier, 550,000 health, all right? A new thing with the Tuma is he starts with concussion. That is so good for this guy because now right away, as you can see, we're doing some thorns damage. Now, right from the beginning, the thorns damage is not insane. But as you build up his concussion as the fight goes on, right, that 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 thorns damage gets higher. So what the concussion starting at the start of the fight is going to do is that on our first special one here, we're going to get about six hydration. Now, this is a big step up from the two to three hydration that he got prior, because now we can go for the heavy attacks and we don't have to go for a second special one. That's shaving off about 20 to 30 seconds of his ramp. That's really, really solid. That was one of his biggest issues. Now, another one of his issues, he didn't have many, but he was one of those champions who just really needed the value, is that his concussions were not lasting long enough. Now, when he uses a special two, he gets those cruelties. The concussions are paused while the cruelties are active. Although one is falling off right there, I'm not sure if that's a bug, maybe like new concussions to aren't paused or whatever from the hydration but as you can see the cruelties are just now falling all the way off so we're back up to another special two and look at this we're ramped up full 20 hydration got our unstoppable our precision our cruelty we whiffed a little bit there but it's okay and look our thorns damage is up to like 4,000 per hit now which is really solid right so now at this point what we can do is we could chain special twos or we can go for a monstrous special three. Now in the past, before the buff, it wasn't really realistic to go for a big special three because all of my concussions were falling off by now. I'd have 16, 17, 18 concussions at max, and it wasn't really worth going for like a middling special three. But now we're doing about 11,000 damage per second in the bleed and the thorns is absolutely insane and Winter Soldier is flushed right down the toilet right there, right? Now, if we wanted to go for special twos there after that same kind of ramp up instead of going for the special threes again it would look like this okay so same kind of same kind of rotation here getting punched in the face a little bit but it's okay we're a little tanky right we also got that constant willpower healing right which is just fantastic and now we're gonna go for, again, again i'm just I, I can't fight captain marvel apparently but instead of going for special threes we're gonna keep chaining our special twos here okay and now we're gonna bait out the special from her we're unstoppable we could block through it go for the heavies in the corner and we have 51 concussions we're doing like 5,000 extra burst damage right on our attacks and look we're gonna go for another special two and look at how easy it is to keep our concussions up with the buff to the cruelty timer right check that out oh heavy through or heavy 71 concussions and we're doing about 7,000 thorns damage right on every single hit so it's a, at this point once we're like chaining these special twos it's an additional like 35,000 damage and thorns per combo which is really not too bad so if you wanted to use this guy for like battlegrounds for example right you don't have to do like two special ones anymore we'll go class disadvantage against a, a deadpool here now when it comes to his sig ability it makes him at sig 200 a 100 percent guaranteed chance to get two concussions however you have a five percent chance to start with three now if you start with three you're going to be ramping up even faster but at sig one you start with one concussion which is going to be a very very large improvement to this man so right away just special one right and look you're starting with the willpower healing too which is really really nice so any like chip damage from blocking or whatever you're going to heal it right up so 
as you can see against deadpool here we're just staying aggressive we're going for our special two now and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did against winter soldier now when you start with three right you get this guaranteed 20 hydration basically after the rotation that we did but with two sometimes you get 18 19 right so when you hit that rng jackpot is very very nice but as you can see the damage is pretty darn solid here, even with class disadvantage. And at this point, we can go for a special two again or finish off the fight with the special three. But you know, the special two is so fun. He spins around and yeah, we get all those concussions and we're doing some darn good stuff. Deadpool is regenerating a bit. He still has that little bit of a ramp up, but when it comes to battlegrounds, this guy is now going to be one of the best defenders in the game because since he starts with those concussions, you can't really get around his thorns anymore. So he's going to be one of those champions who really wants a specific counter, non-contact attacks, anti-thorns, gambit, omega red, namor type thing, reflect it, right? Um, or you're gonna have to eat some of that damage. So he's gonna be chipping away at the opponent's health, kind of like Electro or Korg, if you don't have a counter to him. And as we all know, when your health goes lower, the score goes lower. So that's going to be one thing popping him on defense. He's going to be very valuable in the Battlegrounds deck, in my opinion. I'm absolutely gonna be keeping him in mind. In the past, I've had him at rank four, seek 200 for a while now, but I haven't even had him in my deck because he, you know, he's not, he, he wasn't the easiest defender. I don't want to sit here and say he was an easy defender because he was not, but he, he wasn't as good as he should be. You know what I mean? Um, also, he reduced his bleed debuff by 90% at SIG 200, and your damage from the thorns is increased by a lot based on the bleeds that you do. Also, he just reverses all ability accuracy on him, so disorients, concussions, he doesn't care about those. He could just do a lot of things, man. Now, also, when it comes to, like, the buff to, like, his cruelty duration. I mean, guys, look at this. So we're, we're here against Lab Red Hulk. I'm not gonna show the entire fight here, but once you get going, you know, I'm gonna be chaining these special twos here. And look, the cruelties are going. At this point, guys, at this point, we have 60 of them paused. We have 79, right? I can go, uh, nice, get hit by a special two, right? I can go for a big special three here, like pretty darn easily. But what I'm saying to myself is, dude, honestly, I'm going for 99. I want to max out here special two, right? We're paused again, just under one bar of power, right? Getting a little bit of lag, great. I'm trying to get him to throw the special two. There we go, unstoppable through it. Special one, fantastic. We're gonna build up here. Of course, I think Red Hulk has that physical resistance, so our Thorns isn't doing too much. I would love to see what the Thorns would do against like a champion who doesn't have the physical resistance. That's another way to counter him on defense, by the way. But look at this, Red Hulk at 50% health right now. We're going for the special three, two and a half minutes into the fight. Watch this, watch his health bar. 40 bleeds, doing about 30,000 damage per second. I have zero points in deep wounds, so this can go even longer now. And look at the thorns because it's increased from the bleeds that we have, and he melted from 50% health down to zero, and the bleeds still have 25% left of their duration left. I honestly did not expect him to be this solid for like stuff like red hulk long form content because at this point you just kind of keep repeating it you keep repeating the special twos go for the special three and his stuff lasts which is really really nice and when it comes to countering science champions there are so many annoying science defenders he counters really really well for example quicksilver right you get so how many times have you eaten a combo from quicksilver or that happens and you get those whiplash on you and then you just die right one parry heavy with him and they're gone they're all gone and you have the true accuracy from the special one which is just really really nice you know you're going to be ramping up against these science defenders so much faster so champions like mr fantastic quicksilver spider ham these science defenders who put debuffs on you, for example, in Battlegrounds and extend the fight with inequity and stuff like that, right? And make things like just like, be, they're just like annoying. I've timed out to Mr. Fantastic a bunch of times, depending on the meta in Battlegrounds, right? Where they do a heavy attack after your specials and you convert those two non-damaging debuffs from the careful studies, 
right into his concussions, which is really nice. Now, Sandman is a new champion most people don't have yet, but the amount of debuffs that he puts onto you is insane. So you could ramp up to 99 of your concussions against this guy very realistically, very easily. If you bait out a special two, I had to actually use a three-star Atuma because we were ramping up so highly. But look at this, the special two, unbelievable the amount of debuffs he puts on right so we're gonna go for the special two we're unstoppable look at how far he pushes you back too by the way you can go right into the heavy attack 62 concussions now and our thorns is going to be increased very highly right so just really really solid if there's ever like a really big sandman boss oh my goodness gracious he's gonna be great for it and now look at this right when you now watch this he's putting thorns on himself from hitting my block and he kills himself against a three star against a three star right so yeah obviously his thorns is it's going to be a big pain in the butt now because even when you hit him on uh the block you're gonna get the thorns so one thing to keep in mind that he's going to be a very powerful defender now he's much better on attack i'm honestly very impressed i i didn't expect him to get that much of a boost like on paper it made a lot of sense i was like yeah increase the the duration of the cruelties if you play aggressively, if you're good at like, you know, baiting specials and countering with your heavy attack and stuff like that, man, use the unstoppable to get your openings. He can really do a lot of things. So I'm excited to see how he ages in the game now on both sides. He was a bit of a dud prior, man. So it's really cool to see him like actually do things well now. So if you have an Atuma, that's pretty darn cool. He's pretty darn decent, man. And this, all this damage was, you know, without suicides. He's got the bleed resistance. He could be healing from that. He has the concussion. Could be good stuff, man. He has some good synergies as well here with Namor, right? More attack rating with these guys. It's a lot of attack rating right there, you know? Um, uh, what else do we got here? This one's really, really good. Helps you ramp up faster at the start as well. Yeah, man. I'm excited to have this guy <laughs> at 6200 rank 4, man. I really am. Uh, he's going to be in that first Titan pool as well. So a seven star Atuma, not the worst one to get. All right, that's going to be it for this little video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about buffed Atuma in the comment section below. He's feeling really good, man. I, I was so excited for Shuri. I'm still very excited for Shuri, but I, I'm excited for both of them now, man. All right, that's it. I'll be seeing you around.